Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be an Aries weekly money and career reading from September 4th to the 10th, 2023. Aries, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Aries weekly money and career September 4th to the 10th 2023 for the sign of Aries thank you Aries thank you to all for watching supporting sharing your energies sharing your journeys thank you to all let's see what's happening here Aries what energies we have what messages we have for this upcoming week two of swords you have to choose a direction. What are you going to do, right? Or there's a decision to be made. There's a choice to be made. Um, having to dig deep for this one, uh, Aries, is this for you, not for you? How are you gonna get this answered? How are you gonna get this working? It's emotional for you. Or you can also be dealing with the water sign. But for me, you're, you're channeling emotions. It's almost like you don't want to deal with your emotions, right? Aries, you usually are have your mindset and not really usually um, comfortable dealing with emotions. But you might have a water sign around you and um, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Queen of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn around you as well, weighing in on this decision. What am I going to do? Hmm. It's almost like you've been in that same frame of mind for a while, and these two people, it's like these two people or these two energies are sort of forcing you to reflect, to self-reflect, to figure things out. Yes. Three of Swords, there's something ending here. There is, um, so it's either a certain mindset that's ending, a certain way of being, or it can be in a practical way, a job or something. But I don't feel it like a, a job. I feel like there's a conflict here or a decision made here, a decision having to do with two other people. And it's sort of the end of that with the Three of Swords. Or if it's not the end of that, it's something that is emotionally triggering for you king of pentacles might be all about money uh about your financial comfort but you're as much as you have to make a decision you are mastering your emotions or, or trying to dominate your fears or your doubts but it's time to pull it all together, Aries. It's time to make a choice. So are you moving on a different path and sort of stuck in a mindset, in a certain mindset, in a financial mindset, in an emotional mindset for your, your comfort, for your financial comfort? You're, it seems like you're dealing with a financial situation between the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. And uh, you, if this is an obstacle or decision to make regarding your finances or your job or your business or finances, you, you are comfortable, but you, yes, ooh, lots of people. Okay. King of Swords, now there's an air sign. There's a lot of people involved here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So water signs, air signs. It's, um, it can be a family affair. 
It can be a family situation where everybody has to regroup to find a solution, where everybody is involved no matter what. Um, and there is um, this hermit here where it's, it's almost like the answer is not from someone else. This is not fixable like an object. This is not something where we can go and find someone to find a solution or fix it or make it better and have someone else deal with it and just pay someone else, right? It's almost like that. And it's almost like this choice here is purely emotional. Now, the subject might be about money, the subject might be about family or family affairs or a business or your job or, right, what are you going to do? But the decision itself is a personal, deep down emotional decision. And that's what's tricky for you, Aries, because, you know, uh, a business decision is okay for you, right? Or a decision where you can find counsel somewhere and someone, you know, is going to guide you and, you know, something like that. But here, the answer is within. And I feel like maybe this is something you have been avoiding. I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh-huh. There we go. Two of cups. So maybe this is something you have been avoiding with someone. And maybe this is, um, you know, a, a, a a relationship situation, a relationship where you're battling things out, or uh, if it's not a relationship, it might be a partnership or even a business partnership, something with this person here, again, can be an air sign, um, but it's, or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, or, um, uh, Scorpio Pisces Cancer you know, or a Virgo, right? They're, they're, or a, a Leo, right? There are signs all over the place. So I don't really, I, I say them because I know some of you attach importance to that. But for me, it doesn't matter. These are all about energies, uh, personal energies here to solve a problem with a partnership or with a situation or with a certain dynamic within a family or a dynamic personal dynamic within a relationship where you want happiness you want positivity you want harmony within your family but the situation is sort of sort of overflowing on your professional dynamic on your career or on your business on your, your or in your job not surprising because it's emotional and you it's almost like you don't want to you you know you have to deal with it and you know you have to make a decision all right let's see where this is going yes moving forward so this is a good decision aries Wheel of Fortune, there we go. Aries, you always land back on your feet. Was it Virgo I had that, where I called them a cat? Always landing back on your feet. So this decision, whether you're, you're full of anxiety or not, or doubts or fears, right? Uh, you... This decision here, this is just popping out. Yes, whether you're full of anxiety or, right? Even if you're freaked out, this is a good decision because this is going to um, unblock certain situations, make the energies move forward in a positive, um, in a positive direction. And not only unblock a situation or unblock energies or dynamics or people, dynamics between people that don't agree or can't figure it out or are waiting for answers, right? You know things keep changing. And you know this wheel asks you to be positive, optimistic, and optimistic in your choice, sending out those positive vibes. 
And I think your life is changing a bit. It is expanding a bit. Maybe you're doing different things. Maybe you're connecting with different people. Maybe you're starting different jobs or maybe you're moving or I don't really see moving, but it's, it's like you're, you're working on other things. And as you expand your life, expand your career or your knowledge, um, this is pushing you in a different direction. And maybe that is where it's freaking you out a little, out a little bit, because maybe you've been, been doing the same job for a long time, or maybe you've been in the same career. And for you, it's sort of a natural and it flows. And all of a sudden here, this is pushing you in another direction. And it's, it, it's essentially pushing you to choose, to choose uh, a direction or to choose to make a decision to unblock the situation that is a little tense, that it is, that is a little anxiety driven, right? And so be open, be open to dialogue, be open to others, be open to other factors, other people, maybe other things that, you know, you're not used to, because that's going to unblock the situation. So if you're someone that likes control and be in the same old, same old, it might be a little tricky and it might continue to block the situation, to block the communication with the people that are most essential here, that you want to talk to or that can help you or that can um, open up a dialogue. Because again, the answer is within you. I think that you you view this as other people figuring things out, other people finding solutions, other people alleviating your anxiety, you know, letting them do whatever they have to do so you feel better, so you, right? It's no matter what, you also have to make changes. And so that your changes are, are sort of going to open up these synchronicities and open up new opportunities, a breath of fresh air moving forward in a positive direction as you, yes, get out of that conflict. And this conflict is, is communication, dialogue, day to day. You don't see eye to eye maybe with your um, co-workers or with family members or with friends or, you know, something or, you know, people you're working with, you don't see eye to eye or it's tricky. Yes. And here again, pentacles. So it feels like you, 10 of pentacles, you are fighting for harmony. You're fighting for financial stability, long-term financial stability. And your decision, whatever this is, and it can be very personal, it can be very profound. You might not even be sharing this, right? This is your um, mental, your mindset, profound emotional decision is going to shift and unblock the situation. But it, it's not automatically something physical or something you know, that has to do with your job, choosing one job or the other, or choosing to work on this or on that, or choosing to answer those people or call those people, or, you know, it's not that. It is something profound within you that you have to either accept or acknowledge or shine light on or process, something like that. All right, let's see. It's a profound reading, Aries. Profound. Um, and so it's an underlying, underlining of, um, of emotions. Yes, and answers and figuring things out. A bit confused sometimes, right? Or waiting. And I think maybe you had illusions. Illusions on people or illusions on family or, or certain... Um, yeah, certain situations that you, that you don't understand or that are that you don't agree upon, right? And 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 it's profound. And so it's almost like you want, you know, if there were certain things that were certain questions that weren't answered regarding a family situation or certain answers you're still waiting or people that didn't, you know, distorted the truth a little bit, right? 
you're sorting everything out and your desire is really to have something clear and to sort of dissipate any any uh, disagreement or any false information, if that makes sense, and you're sorting things out. You're prioritizing. What are your pri priorities right now, Aries, right? And I think that this personal situation um, has re reflects or has repercussions on your career, your job, your day-to-day -day life. Yes. Accepting. Accepting. Accepting these lives. Accepting these people. Taking the time to reflect taking the time to process and bring back moderation, patience, patience in your life, like stabilizing your energies, recovering your flow, recovering, getting your life back in order, right? And staying calm and, and, and making decisions in a calmly manner, maintaining your emotions. Again, we're back in that emotional decision back in that emotional transition and i think that you're you're learning you're learning to keep composed you're you're learning to try to keep calm and um you have a certain respect now for balance take the middle path if you have to take the middle path but no matter what it's not time to revolutionize or be like a bull in a china closet right and and think that no matter what you're you know you have the answer even though you have no clue right that it's not time for for the ego to speak there we go seven of swords right it's not time for that it's time to realign calm meditate and reflect upon what is most important for you. Prioritize and sort things out. And then calmly make decisions. And calmly, you know, calm your mindset. Wow. It's um, an important reading. And it's a profound reading, Aries. Let me know if you connect with these energies. Let me know if this is something that you would like to comment on. Or just put a heart down below. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Aries, weekly, money and career. There's a lot of cards here. I'm going to take these first. September 4th to the 10th, 2023. Eight of Swords. Yes, stuck in that mindset and Queen of Wands. I feel like I'm going to take the other... The other... um cards as well. Queen of Wands, here you are, stuck in that mindset. And it's almost it's it's a bit of stubbornness. Um just because you want happiness, harmony, finances, abundance, you want perfection. But life is not about perfection. So here we go, the sun. There you go. And you have two times the sun, positive, positive, <coughs> send out those positive energies because it's one thing to want happiness, stability, abundance, and harmony all around. But then it's another thing to impose, impose your point of view, make sure you, um, um, make people understand that you are the one in control and you know you have the knowledge and you have the choices. Well, yes, you have the choices, but harmony and happiness may might not be in sync with that choice or that dynamic or that push in um, in stubbornness. So... The sun, the world, yes. I feel like no matter what, there's a cycle that you're completing and you're sort of fighting that. Six of swords. Letting go. 
Two of Pentacles again, sorting things out. We have a lot of repeats. King of Cups, Water Sign, and Three of Wands opening up. So as you make this decision and let go that hang up, let go that mindset or let go that thing that you keep hanging on to because that has become your, your comfort zone, until you do that, right, it's not going to be the wheel of fortune. It is going to hang in in those energies that you have wanted to stay in for the last few years, maybe, or weeks or months. But for me, it's all probably almost years. So let, let it go, Aries, let it go. I know that is not a concept that Aries likes to uh, read about or hear, let alone emotions attached to a certain mindset in your career or in your job, but let go, let go and, and open the dialogue, Aries, open the dialogue, see what people have to say and open yourself up to other people's energies, other people's knowledge, what, whoever they are and see how it goes. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one for sharing your energies, sharing your knowledge, your journeys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Have a great week, Aries. Take care. Bye-bye.